food because it's very pretty and I got butterflies. Um, but you've got the bones of this bean. And also we got little little fish there. Little tiny little fish. You've got very poisonous spines as well. Uh, we got a sea snake. We only got one left. We got a few before. Uh, sea snake. They say it's deadly to poison. Right? Now actually they can not ban us to one bite to kill 26 adults. That's how poisonous it is. Right? So they say, okay, sea snake is deadly, but it is not dangerous. And I said, why is it not, it's not dangerous? Because sea snake is the only creature that can give you a bite, but it can withhold its poison. So this is a very deadly shellfish. You know, what happens is usually if it's on little fish, they move around on the usually sandy bottom, very slow. Uh, if it senses a little fish going past, it shoots up its tongue like a harpoon, like a needle, to shoot a fish and act on its nervous system. Right? Now, so that the fish will be paralyzed so that it can climb over the fish and eat it. To the human, it's also acting on our nervous system. Right? So it is a very, very dangerous. Right. So, nowadays, the Australian Institute of Marine Science here in Townsville, what they do is, they look at it, they say, oh, these corn shells have a lot of chemicals called chronotoxin. Right? There are more than a hundred different types of different shellfish. And now what happens is they, they say, why can't we use this venom right, to, for, to act like a painkiller? Right? So actually they are successful now in looking at this chronotoxin, they isolated some of them, they say, alright, now what do we have for painkillers? The strongest one is morphine as we know, somebody has a test or anything, they use morphine, that's the strongest painkiller that we have. So they say, this particular type of chronotoxin is actually 100 times stronger than morphine and it has not a side effect like hallucination and all sorts of side effects.